was writing. And one of the reasons why I thought, well, this movie couldn't really be made uh, is because of the Trevor's character, the whole weight loss issue. And never in my wildest dreams did I think an actor would actually go to the lengths that Christian has gone to. I knew that it was a Christian Bale movie. And I was waiting 20 minutes for Christian Bale to come on. And then I realized that it was the skinny guy was Christian Bale, and I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe my eyes. Go out to dinner, and he'd ask us to describe the taste of the food. I mean, this man is a sick individual. He'd sit at the table, all amazed, and say, what's it taste like? I could fix you some eggs. I'm tired, but thanks. It feels great. It feels like a kind of a victory, because I did kind of just emaciate and destroy myself. and. You know, to the point where I kind of just watching me run is a joke because I just have no leg muscles or anything. Watching this man walk around 120 pounds, not eating for weeks, um, I just didn't think it was possible. I didn't eat. That was it. For an actor to lose 60 pounds, it is an active process. It means that every hour of the day, every minute of the day, he's not eating. And every minute of the day, he probably wants to. Oh, I look okay. You look great, very fit. You can always be thinner. If you were any thinner, you wouldn't exist. When I first met Christian, he was extraordinarily thin, having lost an enormous amount of weight for uh, the machinist, which he was about to go off and shoot. He did call me and say, well, you know, how, how do you look? right now, you know? Like, how, how am I gonna seriously be able to suggest to Warner Brothers that you could play Batman ever if, uh, you know, you're that skinny? Hey, perfect fit. <laughs> he then proceeded to put on a lot of weight uh, in muscle terms and really try and bulk up because I had impressed upon him the uh, the idea that for, for Bruce Wayne to really fill that suit, he was going to have to be very, very large. I was just stuffing my face all day long and lifting heavy weights and eating more, and uh, and eventually went went uh, up to like 220 pounds. I just listened to what he said about get as big as you possibly can, so that's what I did, you know. But I was kind of like a bear. I wasn't really like a martial arts, you know, guy all lean and ripped and everything like that. I suggest to him that he, he um, you know, cut down a bit. I could see the look on Chris's face, you know, he looked at me and it was like, oh, Christ, you know, what has this guy done? There was a moment where he was really big and we were thinking, God, is he going to fit the bat suit? Is it, you know, <laughs> how is this going to work? It was a moment of panic where I realized, oh, crap, you know, I took Chris at his exact word about get as big as you can, but he didn't really think I was going to get that big. And a number of the crew I'd worked with on previous movies, they looked at me and they were like, uh, bloody hell, Chris, what are we doing here, fat man or bat fan? And uh, so I realized, okay, uh, <laughs> that's not what he had meant. So I had to then try and lose a lot of weight. We worked on his stamina and built his muscle tone so we could bring his body back up to uh, being what it needed to be for Batman. Hello. Good. Very nice. Christian showed extraordinary levels of self-discipline and dedication to the role to be able to do that. A lot of actors, when you uh, start working with them, they'll say they're going to lose a bit of weight for the part or whatever, and the wardrobe people will kind of roll their eyes and go, yeah, sure, because they very often don't. Um, and I had to warn the, the wardrobe people in this film that he was actually going to do what he said uh, he was going to do. It really was. It was a very tight schedule, but I just about managed it before we started filming. Christian was the, the first actor I met with, actually. And it was clear to me, looking into his eyes, that this is somebody who can make you believe in the possibility of somebody devoting their life to something this extreme. Sorbet? Why is he doing this? Is there a reason that you get out of bed to go act every uh, when you do? Um, because when it's good, it's really good, and when it's not, I fucking hate it.
The film is where people go, eh, there's a big chance that this is going to go south. And I tend to go, that's the one I want to do then. And they tend to be the ones that either really fucking go south or, wow, that, that really surprised everybody and came out with something, you know, very different. Before I made The Machinist, I've made a few films that I really thought, oh my God, what have I done, you know? And then The Machinist came up. And so very much for me, it was a mental discipline you can't allow anything else in. And there is such a thrill to doing that. You know, that's why it's so hypnotic. So despite the fact that to everybody else's eyes, I was dangerously um, skinny and, yeah. and possibly potentially doing myself great damage, I was actually saying, I think I failed to achieve the look I was originally going for. Looking back in retrospect, I think that's nuts. I think that I became incredibly obsessive in what the hell was I thinking. I'm not laughing. I became obsessed about it, and, uh, and that was interesting in itself. Unfortunately, I didn't do it under any kind of doctor's monitoring, and so I'm loath to give advice because what if it goes wrong for somebody else? But, you know, there's really not much of a secret to it. You eat less, you do more, you know? Yeah. And however extreme you take that, the more the skinny you're gonna become. Know your limits, Master Wayne. Batman has no limits. Well, you do, sir. I've never had a single director actually ask me to do any of this stuff. Everyone's kind of gone, well, we can probably do it with a bit of makeup, with a bit of prosthetics, we can do it. And then they discover I'm really doing it myself. And they, they've always gone, are you really, are you okay doing that? You know, are you? Yeah. So I've never actually had anybody say, you have to get to this place. It's always been me who said, I have to get to that place. You just get it in your head and you just go, I need to. That's, that's what I need to do. I don't know how to play that part without looking that way. And if I'm going to do it, if I'm going to take the time to do it, then I want to do it um, in as much of an immersive way as possible. I admire immersion very much. Um, but I'm not going to take that to stupid lengths. I'm not going to do it for the sake of it. It's only worth it if you're, if it's for telling a really great story. And whether other people agree with me or not, I, you know, I, I kind of don't mind because I know that I'm making a movie that I would really want to see. Before I do all the scenes, I like just think of what I've been through and all that. I like just try and put myself in the character's shoes, so like you be like become the character. got to just say to yourself, do I think it's good? Do I think I've done a good job on this? And that's it. And that, I get my satisfaction from working on it right here, right now. <laughs> 